And a Hayward woman will celebrate both Memorial Day and her 100th birthday yeah. tomorrow. KPIX 5's Mark Kelly with why it's so fitting these two special occasions fall on the very same day. Now smile at me. There we go. This Memorial Day, Bobby Heinrich will become a centenarian. So I always had a holiday on my birthday. And why is that special to you? Because I didn't have to go to school and I hated school. <laughs> But Bobby has always loved airplanes, especially flying them. Yeah, it was just something you liked to do. Today. And during World War II, Bobby got to fly quite a bit. First and only military flying school for women in the United States. She was one of the first women to ever fly military aircraft in the United States. The select group of about 1,000 female pilots were called WASPs, Women Air Force Service Pilots. In less than two years, the Women Air Force Service Pilots flew more than 60 million miles for their country. These women flew planes, sometimes brand new, between bases and performed every task men in the Air Force did. Their service freed up men to serve in active combat. Oh, I learned to do the spins and things like that. You were never scared? Mm, not after I started. <laughs> no. Bobby passed that fearlessness down to her five kids. There was nothing I ever looked at and said, oh, I don't think I can do that. Now it was always just try it. Let's try and see what you do. And we really, you know, respected what women could do. We never thought they would, should do any less. Bobby and her fellow WASP, of which there are only a few hundred still living, have been awarded over the years for their pioneering spirit. And at 100 years old, that spirit isn't going anywhere. It would be fun to go up and do acrobatics again. But <laughs> <laughs> Never too old for that, right? Nah. In Hayward, Mark Kelly, KPIX 5. Why good for her. She looks great, too. Born in 1916 during the uh, Wilson administration, all the way into the 21st century. Good for her.